A Yakima Nation silent movie star traveled the world with the most famous actors and directors of his era. But to preserve his most enduring legacy, his own tribe needed to build a library and museum. NWIN's Ronnie Washines has the story. Born on the Yakima Reservation, May 15, 1891, Nepo Strongheart was destined to a life of stardom and movie making. During his lifetime, Nepo Strongheart, or his given Yakima name, Tachinam, appeared in scores of movies opposite the leading actors of his time, was considered a foremost authority of Native American history and ethnology, and consulted directly and often with an A-list of Hollywood directors, most notably Cecil B. DeMille. Nepo Strongheart was very good friend and a consultant with Cecil B. DeMille and David Velasco. He would review scripts, he would be on site to show them which ways would be correct for Indian portrayal in films. But Nepo Strongheart's greatest legacy is perhaps his massive donation of rare books, manuscripts, movie reels, artifacts, and regalia to his own Yakima Nation. We have about approximately 7,000 reference books. The rest are magazines, manuscripts, maps. Educationally, there is no other collection like it. Not only did Nepo Strongheart travel the world over, while working in the movie industry, he joined Buffalo Bill's Wild West show and other traveling shows as a trick and fancy horseback rider. All the while collecting volumes of materials he knew would one day be of great value to his people. Uh, the Strong Heart Collection is utilized primarily by our Office of Legal Counsel, uh, for, uh, specifically for this area uh, before Washington ever became a state. Uh, the Yakimas were the largest tribe here in Washington. We once owned over 10 million acres of land here on the state of Washington. The donation of the Strongheart Collection was so important, in fact, when several van loads of the materials arrived on the reservation in 1970, it prompted the Yakima Tribal Council to approve the construction of the Yakima Nation Museum, Library, and Cultural Center in part to preserve the collection. The center was completed in 1980 and became one of the very first native-owned museums in the western United States. I believe that Nepo would be very excited to see what his collection has actually done for the Yakima Nation. That was always his dream to have this collection made readily available. The Nepo Strongheart Collection arrived on the Yakima Nation in three vans, and it compelled the Yakima Nation to consider constructing this museum to house its artifacts. For Northwest Indian News, I'm Ronnie Washings reporting.